What's up, Japanese baseball betters? This is Caesar with Japanese Baseball TV, and I have a video for the KBO, the Korean Baseball Organization, for May 27th. Uh, the games are May 27th at 6:30 p.m. in Asia, which is May 27th, Wednesday, 2:30 a.m. Arizona time. So keeping that in mind, we have five games. Um, there might be some rain, so some of these might be canceled. However, uh, I did find value on one of the games. So with no further ado, let's get into the games. So the first game, we have Kiwoom at NC. Um, so I project the runs to be uh, 5.3 to 4. I project the total runs to be 9.25. Uh, NC right now is on a 7-2 and two, uh, record at home with a three-game winning streak. Kiwoom is 4-6 and six with a two-game losing streak. Uh, the stadium effect, I give a negative 11. Uh, these are the starting pitchers. Uh, I rank Kiwoom's starting pitcher as a 4, and I rank uh, NC's starting pitcher as a 3. Uh, they're both Korean pitchers tonight, no foreigners going. Uh, you can see their K rates and their walk rates. So uh, just looking at my projections, I project NC is a 65% chance to win, which projects to 1.60 odds or minus 189 in US. So NC on the money line gives a 0 0.78 Kelly value. However, uh, my runs projected 9.25 and the bookies are offering 11. Some bookies are offering 10.5. Even 10.5 is okay value. So uh, the bet is bet the under, uh, bet under 11 or under 10.5. That is the first bet. So let's get to the second bet. Uh, the second game is Samsung versus Lotte. Uh, as you can see, the runs are fairly even. My runs projection is 9.6. The bookies are offering 10.5, uh, so there's no value. Uh, I rank the starters 3 and 4. It's a Wan Tae In and Park Se Woon. Um, they're fairly even with Samsung a slight advantage. However, um, the RBI ranks and the ERA ranks uh, both favor Lotte, as well as uh, the fact that they're playing at home. Uh, and they're six and three at home, so this is, seems to be a, a, a fairly tight one. I project Lotte is a fifty-three percent chance to win, which projects to one point eight eight odds. Uh, the book's only offering one six four, which is negative two percent. Uh, Samsung, I give them a forty-six percent chance to win. Uh, that projects to two point two odds. Uh, I'm sorry, that projects to two point one three odds. The book is offering two point two. Uh, very, very little value on that, so that's a no bet. Next game is SK at Doosan. Uh, as you can see, I project the runs to be fairly even. Doosan with a slight advantage. Doosan is the defending champion, and they're also the Vegas odds-on uh, projected champion this year as well. Although, if you've been watching the games, NC is playing out of their mind. So, uh, their odds to win it all is right now 5.5 plus 550. Um, I put a small amount on that because NC is just playing out of their minds and right now they have no injuries. Uh, back to this game. Uh, SK on the road is 1 and 8. They're terrible. Uh, Doosan not exactly lighting things up at home. Uh, the starters, I give SK a slight advantage. Moon Sung Wong is a little bit better pitcher than Yu Hi Kwan. So if you look to my projections, I give Doosan a 59% chance to win, which projects to 1.6 odds, 1.68. The bookies are only offering 1.46, which is not value. 40% chance for SK projects to 2.47. Odds and value, the bookie is offering 2.6, which is slight uh, slight value, but not enough to bet. My projected runs 10.8, the bookie is offering 11, almost identical, so there's no value. Next game, LG is traveling to Hanwha. 
So um, Hama is projected to be the worst team in the league by Vegas. LG is pretty much in the middle of the pack, maybe fourth or fifth out of ten. Uh, I project these runs to be fairly even with LG a slight advantage. My runs projection is 8.7. The book is offering 9.5, so there's slight value on the under, but betting unders in Korean baseball is a very risky proposition. So I wouldn't do it unless uh, there's a huge discrepancy between these two numbers, and it's under 1 right now. I would wait for at least 1.3 difference. Uh, so there's no bet on the total. Uh, regarding the side, I give 52% chance to win for LG and 47% chance for Hanwha because Hanwha has a slightly better starter. Uh, if you look at the ERA ranks with bullpen, um, pretty even. Uh, the only major discrepancy between these two teams are the RBIs, uh, the hitting. Uh, LG has quite an advantage in the hitting because Hanwha can't hit anything. So my projected odds are right here. I give a 1.9 for LG, but the book is only offering 158, which is terrible value. Hama, I give 2.1. The book's offering 2.3, which is less than 1% value, so it's a no bet for me. Let's go to the last game. We have Kia playing at KT. Um, these teams are very evenly matched, as you can see by the uh, Las Vegas championship odds. Uh, ERA wise, um, the Twins, or I'm sorry, Kia is a, a lot better than uh, than uh, KT. But batting, KT is the second best uh, run producing team in all of Korea. So I give KT an advantage here, and also the fact that they're start starting Despagne as their starting pitcher. I rank him as a number one. Uh, you can see here in 24 innings, he has a 0 0.96 WHIP which is pretty incredible. Um, the strikeout rate is the same as his opponent, uh, M.K. Young. And the uh, balls also a slight advantage to KT. Um, there's no particular winning or losing streak that's of notable value. Uh, I project the runs to be 9.5. The bookie is only offering 10, so I would not bet the under on that. As far as sides are concerned, I give KT a slight advantage at 55%, which projects to 1.8 odds. The book is only offering 1.47, so that's a huge negative value. Kia is at 44% chance to win, 2.24 odds. The book is offering 2.5, still under 1% value, so it's a no bet for me. So today, uh, my only bet is the, uh, right now, our our record is three and two because we won yesterday. So today my bet is uh, NC and Kiwoom under 11. Under 10.5 is also acceptable. Uh, one more bet I'm going to make is I'm going to bet NC on a three-way money line. It means after nine innings, uh, there's three possibilities of this game. Kiwoom wins. NC wins or a tie. Uh, I'm going to bet NC is going to win in nine innings. So um, just betting that they win, the book is only offering 1.6 odds. But in this bet, you win your money even if it goes into extra innings and they win. Even if it goes to extra innings and it ends in a tie, you get your money back uh, if you bet the regular money line. But if you bet the three-way money line like I'm going to do, you get better odds. The odds are actually 1.86. You get better odds because there's more risk. What you're betting is after nine innings, there's not going to be a tie, and Kiwum's not going to win. So out of three different possibilities, you're taking NC. So NC must win in nine innings, but in return for that larger risk, you get better value at 1.86. So my two bets are uh, NC Kiwum under 11, and NC to win on a three-way money line in nine innings. Those are the two bets. We're three and two so far. Let's hope we cash these. Happy betting, guys. And my Japanese model uh, for MPB is in the link below. 
that model is a little more detailed and I go into a large uh, explanation about the math and the uh, projections behind my model. So check the link below for my Japanese. Japanese baseball will be starting on June 19th. Happy betting. Good luck to you guys. And I will be back with more videos. Thank you.